guys, so I have two disclaimers before I get into this video. First off, if you watched my Sassy Saturday episode 9, there was a lot of rambling. Something happened to my, like, uh, video editor, and it wouldn't let me edit my videos, um, or, like, save my videos. I would, like, spend hours editing, and then it wouldn't save it. So I just had to upload it as is, and I'm so sorry about that. I'm gonna try and... Um, use my little pause button more until I figure it out. I think I have actually figured it out and it's going to take me even longer to edit my videos, but it's completely worth it. Um, and then the second disclaimer is that my nails look like complete crap. I'm going to try and show you, like, not my bad nails because I'm in the middle of transitioning colors. So, um, I have fake nails on so I have to file off the thing. And I completely forgot, but I wanted to get this video done because I don't know what I'm going to do to my nails yet. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. This video is about my favorite foundations and I thought I would do my primers. This is requested by Elle. Um, since I only have a couple favorite foundations, um, I thought I would in include primers for my face as well as my eyelids just so that would be all in one video. It's kind of like the base of your, um, face basically primers and then your foundation is gonna you know hold your blush and your contour and your eyeshadow or eyelid primer is gonna hold your eyeshadow so all that is gonna be in this video but I'm gonna start with foundation first okay so the very first foundation that I want to talk about and just to let you know I only have two favorite foundations as of right now and I've tried a lot um but this one is bare minerals this is just an exclusive one and this is in the original formula. Um, my shade is in Fairly Light um, N10, so I'm a neutral. And I just love Bare Minerals because everything just blends so perfectly, so evenly. It looks so natural. It's amazing. It literally covers up all of your redness, and you don't really need that much concealer, only if you have a super bright red spot that's where you need concealer, but other than that, if you have the slightest bit of pink, you don't even need concealer for it. It's got, it's full coverage. It's buildable to full coverage, but as soon as I apply it, it's full coverage for me. But I like to do two layers anyway, just because, but I really like that. It retails for 24 to $26, so it is more pricey, but it's definitely worth the money, and it lasts you a very, very long time. I could, I could say it probably lasts you four months. My second favorite um, foundation is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation, and I just love it so much. I'm in the shade Buff, and I have, um, I just love this foundation. But let me tell you about my skin first. I have an oilier T-zone and drier cheeks, and any liquid foundation, um, besides the Urban Decay Naked Skin, I actually like that one as well, um, I don't own it right now though. I'd had a sample. Like, we'll stick to little dry patches on my cheeks. I don't have severe dryness on my cheeks, but I have, there's like dryness right here, and it's here, and it's, it'll just cling to it. So, this does not, and it blends smoothly, and it's got medium to full coverage. It's buildable to full, and you need a little bit of concealer, but not too much, and it's, it just feels so heavenly on your face, and it blends so evenly, and I use my fingers actually. I don't use anything else no brushes because when I use a brush it doesn't look the same so yeah moving on to face primers I have three favorite face primers um, and the first one I want to talk about is primetime foundation primer looks like this um, I don't know how much this one retails for so I'm going to tell you in the down bar um, but first I didn't like this when I first tried it this is the original one by the way I don't like the oil control one because um, if you put it on your face and you have oil it's going to dry up your oil and leave like little white balls on your face and then you're like what's this throughout the day and then you wipe it off and then it takes all of your makeup with you with it so it's like why'd you do that like yes it works but it, it no it's not for me but I like this one the original prime time really like this one and see there was my nail sorry guys um, but to note, you have to apply this, do your moisturizer, and then do this, and then wait, leave this on your skin for like a minute. You don't want to directly apply your foundation afterwards because it's not going to stay on your skin, it's going to move around with the foundation. So I really like that primer. The next primer I want to talk about is that gal, and I like this one um, only when I use a liquid foundation. So my Revlon 
or um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I'm going to be trying some more um, foundations out to see what I think of them, but I just haven't had the time right now. But this one is that gal. It's a brightening face primer, and I just apply this to my tops of my cheeks, my cheekbone. What am I? Can't freaking talk. Um, but I really like this one. It's a pearlescent color, and I really like it. I don't like it for like all over the face, um, just where I naturally normally highlight, and you can't really see it through like a powder foundation, but you can see it through a liquid foundation. So I really like that one, and again, I don't know the pricing for the rest of these, well, for those two that I just mentioned, and I'll have it listed down below for you guys. My all-time favorite uh, foundation primer is the Porefessional, but it's so expensive, I'm not ever going to purchase it again. Um, I don't think, <laughs> until I get a job at least, uh, just because it's like, what is it, $30 now guys? And you get a lot though, but still, I'm like, there's got to be something else out there, but this is so smooth, and I only apply this to my cheeks and my nose, because um, that's where my pores are, and it literally hides your pores. But this does the same thing, and it's a little bit cheaper, it's, for some reason I want to say it's like 20 bucks, but I, it's probably wrong. But this is like 30 um, And it comes in a big container now, and it lasts you forever. For me, it lasted forever because I only apply it to three places. Um, and this one is actually my mom's, so I can't use this one. But um, it's a really great primer if you want to hide any pores um, or any dents in your skin that you might have from scarring or anything like that. It's a really great primer, um, but it is pretty expensive. So um, I'm looking for sorry, I'm looking for dupes for that one, and I think I'm going to try the NYX pore filler one, um, because I've heard it's somewhat similar. Okay, moving on to eyeshadow primer. So my all-time favorite eyeshadow primer is the Urban Decay, um, eyeshadow primer potion in original. It's my absolute favorite. It's my go-to. I've had this one literally forever, guys. Forever. Like, I can't even tell you how long I've had this, and look at the back. I'm not even sure if that's, like, normal. But I've had this forever. They are like $20, and yes, that's expensive, but this lasts you forever. I've never tried the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I want to try that one, and I also want to try the NARS one. But this one is so amazing. It's just perfect. It's just perfect. I don't know. Nothing else to say about that. Uh, I just love it so much, guys. And I'm sure you've all, I mean, I know. You've got, you've all heard of it. Um, but, yeah. Next one I want to talk about is the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. This is a dollar at Target or eyesofspace.com. And I really, really like this one. If I am, this is not for all day wear, but it's for like six hour wear. So I like to use this on the weekends if I'm just chilling, um, not if I'm going out. This one, is this called anything? This one's in sheer. Yeah, there is no color to this one. Um... But I really like the formula. It's just nice and smooth and it's really lightweight. The next one I want to talk about is the Shadow Magnet Lid Primer from Performance Colors. And I actually did a review. I almost dropped it. I actually did a review on this. And I can't open it. But I did a review on this and I'll link the video down below. Um, the whole line. She sent some lip products and this. And some eyeshadows. And this one smells so good. It smells like vanilla. And this is just a sample. But... It's so silky and so smooth. It's like, it fills in your lines on your eye eyelids if you have any. It's like amazing. It does that. It's like five bucks and it's great. And you can get it on Etsy, so I'll link the review down below as well as her shop. And then the other one that I want to talk about and I don't have, I ran out of, is the Shadow, no, Smashbox Lid Primer. And I like that one because I have veiny eyelids, so you can see my you know, purple veins or any redness on my eyelids, sometimes I have redness. It was like concealer slash primer in one. I really liked it, and I believe that one was $18 to $20 as well. I really, really liked that one, um, and I want to re- I kind of want to repurchase that one after I'm all done with my Urban Decay, but I don't know because I kind of want to try the NARS. But anyway, if there are any eyelid primers or any foundations or- uh, face primers out there that you do want me to try let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video Give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye